What do you call spheres full of idiots? Earth. <laughs> I got them all. Feeling gothic today. I became so goth my internet crashed. Oopsies. I just woke up from a dream in which there was an app that notified you when nearby LARPs needed an NPC and you could like go pretend to be a surly shopkeeper or whatever and get paid like 10 bucks for it. Damn, I want this to be an actual thing. Baby girl, I'm obsessed in ways that I can't even animate. It sucks. All my coworkers are joining Tumblr. Does that mean I have to stop being a horrible little creature here? Oh, no, 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 no. You got it reversed. You should have been a horrible little creature over at Twitter first. Now get to be one here with everyone else. You are so right. All of my college projects are done. Finally, I can return to being cringe. Spoiler alert. Adulthood is 96% of you going, well, I hope this is how it works and I'll keep doing it until someone yells at me. I like these posts because you read them as a teenager and you think, surely these people are blowing it out of proportion. And then you reach adulthood. I have a bookstore employee secret to share, and it's that when you buy milk and honey, we all make fun of you. If you pick up anything categorized as online poetry, all the gay booksellers are already pointing and laughing at you from the other side of the store. I thought you were making a grocery store post and I was like, no, these are good fluids. When you buy milk and honey, we all panic because we thought we got rid of the guy selling unpasteurized animal products in the biography section. You'll never take me down. I have come to the discovery that I own three cats and a mimic. Oh no. I invite you over to my house and while we're greeting each other at the door, I turn around and say, down boy, down, no. And you just see a caterpillar moving very slowly across the floor toward you. Writing prompt. Unbeknown to most, the Norse gods are still among us. Thor is a grumpy personal trainer. Freya is a successful influencer. Quite a few of the dwarves are top-level sysadmins. But what about Loki? YouTube prank channel. I thought the shopping bags were a bit heavy. <sighs> Take them with you. Earlier, my friend said to me, somewhere out there, in an alternative universe... There's an all-female rock band called King. And I'm still recovering from the mental image and how gay it made me feel. They still have a hit titled Fat Bottom Girls. Okay, this reply really got to me feeling gay again. You know what my favorite thing about the Pokemon trading card game is? The attack names. Punch and Run. Offensive Needle. Extreme Attack. Surf Together. Iron Fist of Justice. Hulk is Pinkus. And my all-time favorite. Everyone explode. Now. I wish all trans girls are very kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all trans boys they kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all non-binary people are very kissed on the face by someone they love. Doesn't this just mean everyone now? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot cis people exist again. Children outside screaming. Annoying, but ultimately for the greater good. Children need going outside and screaming time for proper emotional development. An auditory burden I am willing to bear. Neighbor with his car he made louder on purpose. Jail for neighbor! Jail for 10,000 years! Oh, you wanted chocolate to top your Boston cream donut? Mmm, too bad! That chocolate is for the paper bag, you stupid bitch! I'm just living for the fact that some of y'all haven't even bothered to contact support to get your blogs unflagged because aside from having a blurred avatar, you can just continue to blog like normal. This site's something else. I'll remember is the ADHD demon talking. You won't remember. Write it down. Both of you to assume I'll remember where I wrote it or even that I wrote it. You know, visual exhaustion is another symptom of ADHD, which means that if we see something enough times or we see enough instances of something, it fades into the background noise and we fail to notice it. This is why a lot of ADHD people can stand living surrounded by mess or clutter because it's just visual background noise to us. We don't even notice it anymore. So if we write something down and see the notes stuck up somewhere a lot, or if we write it a lot, or if we write a lot of some things down and have a lot of notes hanging around, we're even less likely to think of or remember the thing because it's just part of the scenery now. ADHD is the catch-22 of brains. Hate it. Honeybun thinks that this is his chair. It is his chair now. You have no choice. How do you guys feel about the fact that these two characters exist in the same universe? I don't know. Horny? Wrong answer. I got a tiny rubber baby for 95 cents. My son. This little plastic lefon by the computer vexes and haunts me. Is your dad a tragic 19th century French author? Yeah, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, I trapped him in the Traptanium Crystal. He lives in there now. Yeah, no, I do let him out, but just so I can make him fight creatures. <sighs> sorry.
Why do you guys keep doing this to my boyfriend? Writing prompt. Dragons have treasure hordes for adventurers to target. Those are usually cover-ups to hide what the dragons actually care for. Some run orphanages, others have meticulously tended gardens, and some have the most well-stocked libraries in the world. Oh my god, I need this. Take me to Snarch, Snad! Only if you promise a sacrifice. <sighs> sacrifice was right there, and you missed it, bestie. Snad, I snap believe you forgot to say sacrifice. I'm leaving the snurge in this whole snail legion. My whole career is in snapples. As we all know, red dragons breathe right channel audio, white dragons breathe left channel audio, and yellow dragons breathe video. Oh my god. This joke is living on limited time. Okay, no more questions. It's sleepy time. 